after scoring four goals in his first three professional matches for PSV, including a hat-trick, Bakali looked like the next big thing coming through in the Eredivisie. But looking back at Bakali's career, it's fair to say that this superstar at the age of 17 actually ruined his career. Zakaria Bakali was one of the biggest talents in PSV's youth academy. His fantastic dribbling and technical ability was much better than any other player from his age. He is a winger and mostly plays on the right. Bakali made his debut for PSV Eindhoven in 2013 when he was just 17 years old. PSV had a very talented attacking trio lined up at the start of the season with Memphis Depay, Jurgen Lucadia and of course Bakali himself. This wasn't the ideal plan at first though but injuries from other players saw this talented trio kick off the season. The youngster who joined PSV's academy in 2008 from Belgian side Standard Liège made his debut against another Belgian side in Zultawarium. This was a Champions League qualifying match which PSV won 2-0. He had a spot in the starting 11 and played 81 minutes. Four days later and Bakali cut his Eredivisie debut as well in a 3-2 victory over Ado Den Haag. And luckily for Bakali, he already got on the score sheet in the next match. In the second leg against Zultawarium, Bakali scored second goal in a 3-0 win for the Dutch side. Another four days later and next up was the Eredivisie match against NEC. And this was the match that changed Bakali's life forever. After just six minutes, Lucadia played the ball into the Belgian talent who swiftly moves past his opponent and scores a great goal with his weak foot. Just after half time, Lucadia once again does well to keep the ball under control. Bakali, who is now playing as a right winger, takes the ball to his left and scores his second after bad goalkeeping work. But that wasn't everything. After a Wijnald embrace, Lucadia played another big part in Bakali's third goal. With great dribbling and movement to get around his opponent, the Belgian wonder kid scored beautifully in the top right hand corner of the goal. And in just his fourth game, a 17 year old Bakali already scored a hat trick for PSV. And of course, you have to be very special to be able to do that at such a young age. Bakali looked eager, hungry, and always dangerous when he got a touch on the ball. And after scoring a hat trick, his name was on the headlines of every newspaper in the Netherlands. He was named among some of PSV's biggest ever players, including Brazilian Ronaldo, and Bakali became the youngest player to score a hat trick for PSV. And of course, he got linked with the biggest football clubs in the world. However, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows according to his former agent. He got put on a pedestal. This led to a situation which the Belgian found difficult to deal with. The media, the Belgian national team, suddenly everyone wanted his attention. They made him go crazy. Unfortunately though, Bakali got injured for the next few weeks. They saw him lose his spot in the starting 11 as Yisung Park returned from injury and he was the current replacement in the right winger spot. And when Bakali came into the picture of the Belgian national team, the performances from PSV in the league were disappointing at the same time. And Bakali, he continued to be a bench player for PSV. But although he may have found a place on the bench, Bakali received a call up from Belgium's national team. He even made his debut against Wales when he was the replacement of Kevin Miralas. But Bakali's position at PSV didn't change and his World Cup dream seemed very far away all of a sudden. This situation led to a lot of frustration for Bakali, according to his former agent. He got into the picture of the national team at the time when Belgium had the best squad in their history. His dream is to play at the World Cup, but he ends up on the bench at PSV. That was a real blow for him. He was a substitute in most of the other games in the 2013-14 season. He played a total of 24 games for PSV. And after his hat-trick, Bakali did not score again and he gave no assists during the season. But as he lost his spot in the starting 11, Bakali's attitude changed as well. He didn't follow some of the agreements that were made and didn't train well anymore. In comparison to Memphis Depay, who was also a tough little guy to handle in the youth academy, he did actually perform in PSV's first team week after week. Depay found stability as a performance coach at the club, which kept him in the starting 11. But technical director Marcel Brandt said that Bakali wasn't open for that option. The youngster was apparently disappointed as PSV didn't follow on their agreements either. A former agent of Bakali said the following. He could have gone to Manchester City, but he chose for PSV. Six months later and he asked me if he could still go to Manchester City as PSV didn't follow on their agreements. But other than Bakali not performing at training sessions, there was much more according to Marcel Brandt. He forgot normal agreements. He changed his phone number almost every week and forgot to give us his new number. Once, he had to report himself for an injury treatment on Sunday. Then he didn't show up. And when I asked him, he said he had to go to the dentist on a Sunday. Despite everything, PSV tried to keep hold of Bakali and kept faith in him. They offered him a new contract that could rise to 400,000 euros. Bakali later texted his agent and said, not this contract, has to be better, fight for me. Bakali was put back to PSV's under 23 side in the second division. He played five games but got a groin injury which ruled him out for the entire season. PSV eventually withdrew their contract offer as they were totally fed up with the Belgian youngster. The cooperation with his agent also ended who he had as an 
agent for just three weeks. His agent said the following, I tried to retain Sakaria for PSV because that's what best for his development. That didn't work out. We both have other ideas and that's why I ended the cooperation. What Bakali exactly wanted to achieve with this is still unclear to me. He doesn't want to leave and doesn't want to sign a new contract either. A few months prior, PSV even reached an agreement with Atletico Madrid for a fee of 2.5 million euros, but Bakali refused to sign a contract there as well. Eventually, there seemed to be no more perspective from both Bakali's and PSV's side. And so, he moved to La Liga side Valencia in the next summer transfer window. He didn't renew his contract at PSV and so he left on a free. And funnily enough, the situation somehow even reflected onto FIFA 15, where a PSV fan tried to extend Bakali's contract in the game, but the Belgian youngster also refused to renew his contract in FIFA. The Belgian winger even posted a tweet at the time stating that he was removed from FIFA 15. Players normally get removed from the game when they are not a part of their club's first team anymore. This of course happened in real life as he was removed not long after. He later removed the tweets after many complaints from PSV fans. A few days later and PSV came out with a statement saying that Bakali's Twitter account was hacked but many people did not believe this. But the chapter at PSV was now closed. He signed a 5 year deal in Spain at Valencia and said in a statement, I knew for a long time I had to leave Eindhoven. There were various options. Playing for Valencia is a dream come true. On the 22nd of August in 2015, Bacalli made his debut for Valencia, coming on as a substitute for Pablo Piatti. For an, I believe, unknown reason, Bacalli wasn't registered in Valencia's squad to play in the Champions League group stage with them, and so he was still yet to play a game in the Champions League. Bacalli's first batch of games for Valencia were mostly whilst coming off from the bench. He definitely showed signs of his best period at PSV at his current new club. It did, however, take him two months to score his first goal. A few games later, and Bacalli suffered another heavy groin injury, which ruled him out for the rest of the season. Bacalli ended his first season at Valencia with just one goal and four assists in 19 games. After getting back in the squad at the start of the 2016-17 season, Bacalli was barely getting any minutes, of course, still being a bench player. He was also occasionally left out of the matchday squad. Bacalli scored his first goal of the season at the end of November in a cup match against Leganes. A few weeks later, and he got his second and last goal of the season in a La Liga match against Real Sociedad. In total, Bacalli played 21 games for Loche this season, scoring twice and giving two assists as well. But as Bacalli landed on another sidetrack, he went on loan to a different La Liga side in Deportivo La Coruña, and he was in the starting eleven straight away. His first game was against Real Madrid, which he had to cut short as he went off with a light injury in the second half. For the rest of the season, Bacalli played a good amount of minutes, which was a mix of places in the starting eleven, coming on from the bench and having a few small injuries throughout. But Bacalli's loan period at Deportivo ended after this underwhelming season. Valencia saw no future in the Belgian winger anymore, and so the 22-year-old was sold to Anderlecht in Belgium. Anderlecht was undergoing a huge makeover in this summer transfer window, where they spent 35 million euros on new signings. Bakali was signed with a very big salary fee of earning at least 1 million euros per year. In the Pro League, Bakali started his life at Anderlecht on the sidelines. He slowly got more and more minutes, eventually seeing himself having a spot in the starting 11. Bakali even had a small period of consistency at Anderlecht. He scored his first goal for the club against Zultewaregem, gave another assist in the following game and scored two goals in a Europa League match against Fenerbahce in a 2 all draw. But unfortunately, Bakali saw himself in a very inconsistent period after, mostly being on the bench, not in the squad or in the starting 11. He ended the 2018-19 season playing 22 games, scoring three goals and giving two assists. Another notable thing is the fact he got eight yellow cards during the season, and as a reminder, he was still playing as an attacker. He ended the season with an injury to his knee, which eventually led to Bakali having to undergo a surgery. This ruled him out for almost the entire 2019-20 season, only seeing the Belgian player in four matches, scoring just one goal. Bakali was left out of the squad at the start of the 2020-21 season and eventually got another heavy injury to his knee. He did, however, find a new home at another Belgian side in Beerschot at the end of the January transfer window. As the 24-year-old was still recovering from the same injury, he only played four games whilst on loan. Beerschot didn't activate the option to buy him at the end of this half-season loan deal, and so Bakali had to return to Anderlecht. A personal dispute between Bakali and Anderlecht manager company, which was going on for a while already, saw the winger left out of the squad for the entire 2021-22 season. Bakali later said, I can accept sitting on the bench if another player is better than me, but that wasn't the case, and that's why I lost the joy of playing football. He eventually left Anderlecht on a free to return to the Eredivisie at RKC Waalwijk. So far this season, Bakali has played 10 games for the club and scored 3 goals whilst mostly being a bench player. When watching him currently play for RKC, you can see sparks of his previous brilliance in his fantastic dribbling and technical ability. The current 26-year-old winger played just 2 games for the Belgian national team. Back in 
2013 when he made a great start to his career at PSV. He even had the option of playing for three different countries. Of course Belgium, but also Morocco and even the Netherlands wanted to have the talented winger play for the national team. Looking back almost a decade later and we see one of the biggest wonder cats from PSV turning into quite simply a flop. He has not performed on a consistent basis throughout most of his career and has been criticized about his bad attitude. You can also say he has a slight aggression issue as he has received 19 yellow cards throughout his professional career, seeing one red card as well. Once again he has been a winger throughout his entire career so far. Sadly he also never played a group stage match in the Champions League nor played at a big tournament with the Belgian national side. And this was the story of Zakaria Bakali. If you thought this story was interesting then be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel to help me get to 70,000 subscribers and I will see you at the next video.